And now in your health watch, it's the main ingredient in popular over-the-counter cold and allergy medications. But an advisory committee to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration recently said phenylephrine is in the form of a pill may not actually do anything to ease nasal congestion. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither has more with an allergist on ways to help a stuffy nose this respiratory virus this season. If you're sneezing, have a stuffy or runny nose, you may have a cold or allergies, and antibiotics won't help. Typically, it just takes time. So 10 to 14 days later, you should continue to see improvement, and by then, hopefully all of those symptoms go away. While phenylephrine, an ingredient in many popular over-the-counter cold and allergy medications, has been deemed ineffective in easing nasal congestion in tablet form by FDA advisors, there are other ways to unclog a nose, says Dr. Sandra Hong with Cleveland Clinic. Things like saline rinses can be very helpful. Um, you may have heard of neti pots, um, and that's where you actually use either boiled water that's been cooled or distilled water. Um, and it typically has um, salt and baking soda in it to flush out the sinuses and the nasal passages. Hong says over-the-counter topical decongestants can also help temporarily, but says not to use them longer than three to five days because they can make nasal congestion worse. She says nasal steroid and antihistamine sprays can also help, and there are still oral decongestants. Um, things like pseudoephedrine over the counter. Um, the thing about these are that you do need to go and speak with your pharmacist um, to sign for those. Hong says while those medications are safe, they can have an impact on things like blood pressure, so be aware. And she says if symptoms don't improve over time, reach out to your doctor. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.